Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu with Kristen here at Upright Health, back again with another movement tutorial for medical professionals. Today we are going to be talking about proper shoulder position. So uh, in a previous video we talked about scapular protraction when the shoulder blades are rounded forward like that. Today we're going to talk about how you can deal with that. So uh, Kristen, go ahead and show us uh, scapular protraction which is often, often, often paired with thoracic kyphosis. Now, when we tell people to stand up straight, and if you're a medical professional, you probably said, oh, you know, maybe if you stand up a little straighter, this might help you um, with your back pain or whatever it is. Um, what you might have noticed is that people don't always know how to stand up straight. So we need to actually figure out what straight looks like and then help people get there. So, Kristen, can you show us what happens if you try to stand up straight and one of the most common faults that people do when they try to fix their shoulder position? Perfect. So, a lot of times when you say, hey, go ahead and pull your shoulders back, a lot of people will do this. So we see this all the time when we're training somebody new, we say pull your shoulder blades back and then they shrug up, 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 up. So this is a question of coordination. Uh, it can also be a question of the muscles up here just being a little bit too tight, which in which case some massage work may be helpful for that. Go ahead and relax. And then what's the other compensation? If we say go ahead and pull your shoulder blades back, what's the thing that we see also here? Yeah, it's that. So it's instead of pulling the shoulders back by using, uh, can you turn that way? By using the, a um, little bit more, instead of using these muscles, so the rhomboids and the mid traps, to get scapular retraction, a lot of people will start to use their uh, spinal erectors, especially around the high lumbars and, and low uh, thoracic spine, and that ends up pulling the rib cage up, which makes it feel kind of like they're pulling their shoulders back, but it's not actually pulling just the shoulders back, it's pulling everything into this extended position, which gets us lordosis, um, a bit of a hyperlordosis in the low back. So go ahead and turn and face this way again. So when we're talking about pulling the shoulder blades back, we're looking at just getting the shoulder blades back without this activity. So we want, again, rhomboids here and the middle traps to help pull the shoulder blades in. Now, a simple, simple exercise that you can have people do to train this, let me have you face forward, is just pulling the shoulder blades together and watching to make sure they don't commit the sins of shrugging at the shoulders or hyperextending in the low back. So if you see this happening, you just make sure you let, let your patient know, hey, relax this as much as you can, try not to use this, and just pull back here. A lot of times just a little brush of your fingers between the shoulder blades will help cue the right muscles to work. right? And then you can do this for a set of 30 and then relax. A lot of people will find this actually pretty hard because in modern life we're usually never being asked to pull our shoulder blades back, which is why this uh, is a difficult position. Exactly. It's a difficult position for a lot of people. Um, and in case they're using their lower back, you'll see the rib cage go up. So they pull and then you'll see their chest rise. Then a cue that you can use is basically keep the, keep the breastbone here while you pull the shoulder blades together. So again, brushing in the back. Um, actually, you know what, can you turn to, the, to the, the back here? So brushing in the back like this while keeping a finger up on the, on the sternum will help somebody learn to control the rib cage better while they're just trying to get shoulder blade motion. And doing that is a real simple way to start training the right movement pattern so that people can hold their shoulders in the right way. So let's go ahead and face forward one more time and then just show from the front, just pulling the shoulder blades back. You can see Kristen's shoulders are level and she's not shrugging, her, her rib cage is not rising. That gives her good scapular retraction to start helping control not only thoracic kyphosis but shoulder position. All right, so I hope that helps you out, and I hope you remember that pain sucks. Like shouldn't. And people get told to lift in that fashion is because a lot of people have 